The Indianapolis Colts dramatically improved their chances to make the playoffs with a convincing road win Sunday against the Las Vegas Raiders. WRTV Sports' Brad Brown breaks down what you need to know about the Colts as the team enters the final three games of the regular season. There were several picture-perfect moments from Sunday's Colts win in Las Vegas. But few are getting quite as much buzz as Kenny Moore's showstopper of an interception in the second quarter. Well, on that call, I was just uh, reading Renfro. And, uh, you know, he went out and Waller stayed up. And uh, I, just, I just made a play. I, I, I saw a car um, I ended up before the play. Um, I know he won at one of them, but, you know, when he get down there, he wanted a touchdown. He don't want to go out with three. I didn't know if Odell Beckham Jr. was uh, you know, playing defense for us, right? With that catch, I mean, that was unbelievable. Uh, I had a, I had to stop for a second there. I mean, that, that did he actually catch that ball? Um, it was, it was one of those, it was one of those, almost once in a lifetime catches. Just a tremendous play. That that, that had me going crazy. I almost missed the next play because I was too busy trying to celebrate with him. So. Um, you know, that, 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 that was amazing. That's definitely a, a top top two uh, catch, most definitely. T.Y. Hilton hit the jackpot in Vegas as well. Two touchdown catches in the first half matched his TD total for the entire season up to that point. His 13 catches the last two weeks are as many as he had in the previous four games. How much is T.Y. feeling it? How about having the whole offense ready to dance? Me, me and Zach came up with it throughout the week that, you know, Let's, let's, let's do the lean with it, rock with it. So uh, I started talking to the tight ends, the running backs, and the O-line, and they was like, oh, let's, let's do it. So we was kind of practicing it throughout the week, and then, you know, we, 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 we executed it pretty good. The Colts host the Texans this Sunday. The team announcing they are reducing capacity at Lucas Oil Stadium to just 10,000 after continuing to work with county health officials, citing the rising COVID-19 case numbers. Tickets are still available for that game. And the bucket game is back on. Indiana and Purdue unable to play this past weekend. Too many COVID cases for both teams. They'll try one more time to close out the Big Ten's championship week schedule. 7.30 kickoff on the calendar in Bloomington. It's the first time the old Oak and Bucket game will ever be played in December. Our goal is to uh, try to find a way to get a W. And I think, uh, you know, if we do those things and normally uh, decent things happen. But, you know, we've got a lot of work to do and uh, we want to, uh, put our head down as coaches and players and, and make sure that we're working as hard as we can and uh, to, to figure it out and, uh, and to go out there, compete and to play hard and to, to give ourselves a chance to win. IU enters ranked seventh in the AP and coaches polls. They could secure a spot in a New Year's Six Bowl game with a win. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.